Hi everyone, it's Abana from Phone Bunch and today we are going to play some games on the La Echo La One S. To start with, let's have a look at the initial temperatures. We are ranging at about 28 degrees in the front and back. I'll have some benchmarks at the end of this video as well. The first game we are playing is Subway Surfers. We are going to move to heavy games very soon. Now here you can see that the gameplay is very smooth as you would expect. We are running on the Helio X10 Octa Core processor here. Now let's push it further. We are going to now play Asphalt 8 and we are running this game at high settings. As you can see right from the start that the gameplay is very smooth. The graphics look excellent on this display. And the viewing angles are pretty wide as well. And again, just to get a baseline reading, we are at about 36 odd degrees in the front and about 33, 34 odd degrees at the back. So this one is really not heating up. Now this is Riptide GP2. Here you can see that the viewing angles of this display are quite wide. Good color reproduction as well and good touch response. We have consistent frame rates here. Haven't noticed any lag whatsoever till now. Now this is Beach Buggy. And again here you can see that the frame rates are very smooth. Good color reproduction again and the accelerometer does work quite fine. Moving on to a heavier game, this is GTA San Andreas. And we are playing this in high visual quality and you can see absolutely flawless gameplay. The graphics look quite alright. And moreover, I don't feel this phone is getting warm. We have been playing games continuously for more than 10 minutes now. This is Leo's Fortune. Again, this game looks really good here. The display is quite sharp. You have a 5.5 inch 1080p panel here, which is running on the MediaTek Helio X10 Octa Core chipset with PowerVR G6 series GPU. Brilliant gameplay till now. Now it's been about 14 odd minutes that we have been playing games and temperatures in the front are ranging around the 35 degree mark at the back around the same. So this one is not heating up at all. This is Nova 3, we are going to push this phone further and here too, right off the start you can see that the gameplay is very smooth. Have a look at the gameplay some more. Consistent frame rates here as well and just to add a word the speakerphone here is actually quite loud You have a bottom firing speaker here, which is very clear Doesn't rattle at full volume always a great bonus And just to add the display has good touch response as well And again, you can see even with around 20 odd minutes of gameplay this phone is not heating up at all so again, brilliant optimization here. Even though this is a metal phone, they have constrained heating quite a lot. Now this is Modern Combat 5. Again, the gameplay seems smooth here. Sometimes the frame rate did get a bit choppy, but as you progress further, the gameplay became very smooth. You can see that here too, while panning in, zooming in or out, everything works out quite smooth. So this is the last game for the review. Again, brilliant gameplay throughout. All the games that we have tried played very well. There was no major lag anywhere. Consistent performance. Good touch response and the display is really decent. Good color reproduction. Good touch response as well. And again, no heating issues whatsoever. And now if we come to benchmarks, you will see that in Antutu we got a score of above 50,000 which is brilliant for a phone in this price segment. Now Helio X10 we already know performs superbly. Again, more than 25,000 on Quadrant. These are simply brilliant scores. And we've already seen that the gameplay was very smooth. Now you do have a 10 point multi-touch display here with again good touch response. Well folks, that brings us to the end of this video. The La One S is a very good phone for gaming. It's shaping up to be a very good all-rounder. 
We'll be back with more on it. Stay tuned to Phone Bench for more. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. And don't forget to subscribe.